So since my last Kmart gaming video, you guys have been asking me in the comments section to test out their microphones. Today, we're gonna do just that. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching all of the last Kmart gaming videos that I've done. If you haven't watched those, I'll leave a link up in the corner, you can check those out. But a lot of you in the comments have been asking me to test out the microphones, and today, in this two-part series, we're gonna be looking at both of the Kmart gaming microphones, which I think you guys should be considering. Today in part one, we're gonna be looking at the professional gaming microphone, and tomorrow in part two, we're gonna be looking at the adjustable gaming microphone, so make sure you come back for that one. If you guys found this video helpful and you like the content, hit the like button, get subscribed, and let's begin. Okay, so behind us obviously you've got the adjustable gaming microphone which goes for $25, and then the professional version which includes a boom arm and a pop filter for $39. Today we're gonna go ahead and unbox this guy so we can see actually what's included, get it all set up, and then actually test it out so we can see how it sounds. So straight off the bat, I'll just spin this around. You can see from the imagery, we've got a USB microphone, a pop filter, and a boom arm. So considering for the price point of, I think 39 or $35, it keeps changing on the Kmart website. This is actually really, really good value considering most places sell a boom arm for this price. Um, to get all three of these things included is really, really good. So it says here on the box that it's a professional USB studio microphone with a premium microphone boom, pop shield filter, and internal microphone shock mounting. Um, talks about the fact that it's a cardioid pickup pattern. So that's really good if you're just gonna be talking to the microphone whilst you're streaming or playing games and you're not really having to worry about other people or you're wanting to eliminate as much of those background sounds as possible. So if it's just you and the microphone and you want people to hear you clearly, you wanna make sure that the microphone that you're getting says cardioid pickup pattern. Um, talks about the sensitivity and then you know perfect for podcasting, streaming, Skype calls, YouTube, or anything else that you're basically doing, which requires your audio to be recorded or captured. Um, on the back side of the box, pretty much the exact same thing, just with more images. Um, so let's get this thing out of the box now. We can see here, we've got the pop filter. So the whole point of a pop filter is to eliminate those sounds that start, that start with like a p or a b or a t to get that cutting out, and this will eliminate that, hopefully. And this will just clamp on um, to the boom arm, really, really simple, but hopefully will do the job. It's got a little bit of mesh here. Some people actually just use stockings because it basically does the exact same thing. So that's cool that that's included. And then we've got actually a little protector here for the top of the microphone, which again can act like a bit of a pop filter. So that's really cool, um, but that comes included. Now the microphone itself actually is pretty heavy for, I mean, what the price is. Sometimes the weight of something, you can tell what the quality is. So you've got a little USB connection here at the bottom. You've got your thread for it to go into the boom arm. Kind of a retro looking style mesh on the microphone itself. And then like a matte aluminium plastic, I think it is. But it feels cold, like it might be metal. Might be a bit of both, I can't really say. But overall, not an ugly microphone. And if you put this little, you know, protector or filter on the top of it, like so. It's a bit hard to do this quickly on camera. I think it actually looks better when you cover it up. I don't really like the gloss, but you know, it's personal preference at the end of the day. Then we've got a nice long fat USB 2 cable. So that's obviously gonna go into your computer and then into the microphone. So that's cool, that's ex that is included. Then we have a shock mount. So a shock mount is basically a little system here, so that way when you're moving the microphone around on the boom arm, um, the microphone is sort of held up in this little suspension system here. So the microphone is not gonna, I guess, detect or hear those noises when you might be knocking the microphone or, or moving it around. So your microphone will sort of sit in there, we'll see how that goes, and then this part here will mount to the actual boom arm itself. So again, really cool that that's included. Kmart does such good value products now. Um, little clamp here, so this is for the boom arm, so this will just be adjustable. From the looks of it, you've probably got about, I don't know, five centimeters, maybe eight to nine centimeters, roughly, worth of width here. So if you've got a thick desk, you won't have too much of an issue. And then the boom arm will go into that little part right there, 
which then you can clamp and up to make it nice and tight and secure so your boom arm's not going to move around. And then the last part, almost the last part, is the boom arm itself. So pull this out of the bag. Got some springs. It feels like it's all made of metal, which is nice. Actually, on first impressions, it's not too bad for $39. Like, to get a boom arm that you can screw your microphone or your shock mount onto, this will go into that little clamp, sort of like so, like I demonstrated. Maybe we can do that quickly on camera here. Unscrew this. Keep going. Okay, so that's in now. So that's clamped in. And if we put this on the desk, unscrew like so. Going all the way in. And then we'll tighten it back up. Keep going, keep going until it's nice and tight. So it's not really going anywhere anymore. We'll obviously back this off for a second so we can rotate it around. And then this part here is adjustable and you can tighten and loosen that particular part of the arm with this little knob here. So we'll just tighten that back up, bring it down and it should stay in you know the position that you want. Then we'll attach the little shock mount so this will just hopefully screw on, nice and simple. It's always interesting to like do these things, I guess raw, one take, because you never really know how it's all gonna go, but so far, it's pretty simple. Again, lots of points where you can actually adjust and get it really dialed in to your particular setup. Tighten that one as well, so that's all now in. And then we'll grab the microphone, which I think should just go straight up and in. So that just sits there. There's actually no clamp for that. It just is perfectly designed for this microphone. So that's really cool. And then we'll do the pop filter. So this would go, you know, somewhere in front of the microphone. If we spin that around so you guys can see a bit better. We'll try and clamp this on. Whether or not you want to use the pop filter is up to you. I personally don't use one, but that's just me. If you're, you know, got the space for it, then, you know, I'd recommend giving it, a, giving it a go. So we'll put that there. This is kind of like a rigid metal that you can sort of wrap around a position. And that's kind of the microphone set up. Not too bad for $39 or $35. I think currently it's out of stock, but it keeps coming back in and out of stock and you know I think that's just because it is such a popular product for $35 to get something this good this complete all in the package let me just move this around camera person saying move around to get something this complete for this amount of money off the bat I'm really quite impressed to be honest with you um, USB cable here just goes straight into the top if you don't by the way have um, a boomer you can buy these separately for like i think 20 25 dollars from amazon but the fact that you get this all included is pretty awesome so let me know what you think let's get now the microphone plugged into the computer let's get it all set up and let's actually see how it sounds um i've got high hopes but as long as it doesn't completely suck then I think it's a good bargain. Okay, so everything that you're currently hearing right now is from the microphone that comes with this boom arm, which goes for $39. And on first impressions, this microphone sounds really, really, really good. I was actually not expecting it to sound this good. For the price point, you have to remember for $39, I was actually expecting it to be really distorted, sounding really, I guess, I don't know, just one tone and has no depth, but this microphone does a really, really good job capturing a nice rich sound that I think you would be quite happy with if you were going to stream or talk to your friends and having the ability to adjust the boom arm so you can get it perfectly positioned in front of your mouth is just it's so good it's actually like really really good the shock mount does a pretty good job of keeping everything nice and steady the boom arm is quite solid and you can you know really get it dialed in it doesn't sort of move around or change too much once you've got it all set up if I move the boom arm around like this while we're talking hopefully you can't hear too much it's pretty good but i do notice that if you 
tap on this little part here down the bottom, the shock mount, you probably are hearing that through the microphone. The microphone itself, it is a cardioid pickup pattern. So if I turn the microphone around or if I talked into the other side of it, it does sound completely different, which is really good actually. So that way if you're, for example, like playing a game, like if I'm pressing the keyboard now, it does a pretty good job of like, you know, filtering out those sounds on the other side. So if you are gaming and streaming um, and, you know, you don't want people to be hearing things like your mouse clicks and the keyboard, they will still hear them, but hopefully your voice is the main thing that they're hearing or the game that you're playing. Overall though, for $39, Kmart has done a really, really good job getting this microphone um, and delivering it to you guys. And to be able to get something like this for someone in the family who might just be thinking about starting off and then leveling up, this is a really, really good starting point. The one thing though that I do wish this microphone had and it would just make it just that much better is the option to plug in a pair of headphones so I can monitor myself or so you can monitor yourself so that way you know if you're talking too loud or too soft. That would just be the one thing that, you know, maybe on the next version that came out releases they could do. But other than that, really, really good product. So now that you guys know about this microphone, you know how it sounds, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'd love to hear back from you guys. If you want to catch up with me on Twitch every Friday night, I'm there from about 10.30 p.m. Also on Instagram if you want to hit me up in the DMs and ask me any questions there. But other than that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Chuck it a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Now that you're done watching this video, by the way, make sure to head over and watch part two, which will be coming out tomorrow, where we review the cheaper version, the $25 model. Um, let's see how that one goes.